Hi, it's James from Force 4 and today I'm going to talk to you about our Winwood paddleboard. So, as you can see, it comes in this nice backpack. Easily get it up on your shoulders. So if you've got a walk from the car down to the beach or to a riverbank like we are here today, then you can do that pretty easily, nice and comfy. Right, let's unpack it. So if we undo the clips, first thing we take out, we've got this two piece paddle. which is telescopic. Next, we've got hand stirrup pump. Lay that down, don't want to pull it in the wind. Pump tube. The paddleboard itself, folded up nicely. Lay that down there. Your skeg. And then in the front pocket here, you've got your leash. Well, that is what you get when you unpack your women paddleboard. So for the purpose of the video, we're gonna be using the Air NRG 100 rechargeable inflation pumps because it's really simple and easy to use. It's a great pump. So if we come down here, engage, twist in the lock in there. So we've got a nice secure connection. Then on the pump itself, we turn it on. You might be able to see the screen. It's quite sunny today. Turn it up to the PSI we want. In this instance, 15 PSI and then press go, it starts in a low mode and then it'll kick into high pressure. So, pump cuts off automatically, take it out. Put that in. So, a few things we have to do before use, attach the leash ultra secure velcro loop through the d-ring here put that bit of velcro down on there that bit of velcro down on there your leash is engaged and ready to be worn on your ankle around your calf when in use we've also then got to attach the skeg but before i do that let's just talk a bit about safety because you want to get going but things you should consider is obviously as a beginner or intermediate, you want to be wearing a buoyancy aid. Uh, they're there to keep you afloat. And obviously with the leash on, you lose the board when you fall off. It's still attached, you can get it back, but you're not in such a panic because you've got your buoyancy aid keeping you afloat. If you were in fast moving rivers or water, then you'd probably want the option of a quick release belt. Now these are worn around the waist. And when you go in, it gives you a way, if you feel you need to, to detach the paddleboard from you. If you're getting dragged along by it, dragged under by it, anything else, you can cut your losses. And if you've got your buoyancy aid on or something like the Spinlock Alto packs, which mainly for open waters and uh, like sea. And if you're touring, if you're a, a very experienced paddleboarder, wearing a buoyancy aid, going out for long times, might, you might get a bit hot, sweaty, uncomfortable. So the Alto gives you another sort of secure buoyancy way of doing it. But yeah, quick release padded belts, they, they are essential if you're in fast moving waters and you need to lose a paddleboard to save yourself. So, we flip the paddleboard over. We've got a skeg and a retaining clip here. So it slides in and there's a little gap underneath. We just clip that like that. Skeg's nice and in. Paddleboard's up and ready to go. So let's just talk about the paddleboard a bit. It's 10 foot 6 inches long. It is 38 inches wide at its widest point. 
Um, so it's really good for beginners. It's a high volume paddleboard, lots of stability, lots of flotation. But also having the big five mil Eva pad here gives you the opportunity to move your feet around. So if you're, again, a bit more experienced, taking it in chop waves, something like that. I mean, it's not gonna cut up any big waves. It's not designed for like carving and stuff, but it gives you the opportunity to move around on the board and be a bit dynamic when in use. Really grippy, really good. Paddleboard itself, nice and light when to carry. I think the whole kit together is only about eight kilos, but when the paddleboard's on its own, nice and easy to carry with a grab handle like that, and you're ready to go.